Alrighty, we're going to add an outlet using some uh, MC cable, or not an outlet, we're going to be adding a light with some MC cable and putting a switch on that light. Here in the country I was born in, we use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, bare of the green is the ground. And in this case, we're going to have a white wire that's live going to the, in the switch loop. So I'll show you how that is done. We use 14 American wire gauge on a 15 amp circuit and 12 American wire gauge on a 20 amp circuit. Red and blue is also live and uh, white can also be live on a 220, 240 volt circuit where the appliance requires a neutral. So I'll show you how to install this. Okay, so we will uh, take the cover off the outlet here. It's all yucky and dirty. We'll unscrew it from our box here. Okay, so we have some old wire in here. It's not very good shape, and we're gonna pigtail off of this, and we're gonna run new wire. So we'll just clip our black and our whites off. We'll get all these webs and dirt out of here the best we can. And we'll use this extension box here. Okay, we'll pigtail our wires together here and go to the outlet, then we'll come off that outlet. There's no ground in here, so, uh, okay, this is number 12. And this is the older 14. Clip all that uh, fuzzy off because you don't want to get that in the uh, splice. Okay, so we'll pick two our wires together. Go to our new outlet so we can put our extension on here. Get our insulation even at the bottom here.
Okay, I'll get our wires lined up here. I'll get this fuzzy out of the way here. Get our, I'm gonna make sure these wires are even on the bottom here, nice and perfectly even. I'll just line our 14 up, put a cap in here. I don't want to trans twisting that cloth wire in there because I don't want it to uh, crumble the insulation. Okay, so we'll fold our white wires back into the box here. Now we'll get our blacks together here. Get our insulation even at the bottom here. Cut them so that they're even here. And I'll bring our other 14 over here. Okay, so I get them even here. I'll get the insulation's even at the bottom, so I'll just start twisting my cap on here. And I'll hold my tail so it doesn't wrap around and come loose. <clears throat> okay, now we've got to pull our black wires back into the box here. Okay, now we're ready to put our extension on here. connector here and it just pops in like this and now we can put our outlet up here we go Now the old BX cable in here is acting as a ground, so uh, it's not totally ungrounded. And we'll give them a nice new outlet here. So we'll put our white and green, our whites and our ground on first. So we'll start with our white wire. We'll make our loop the direction that the screw turns. You always put your wire around the screw the direction that the screw turns. Okay, that's the furthest back you want your insulation. up here on the brass colored screw.
make our loops the direction that the screw turns. I'll fold the wires into the box at the end in case the camera runs out because I'm getting rid of my SD card. So I'll do the screw them in at the very end. Okay, so we're going to put our box right here. So I'll take my uh, pliers here. Uh, Knock out my knockouts here. This is going to the switch. Okay. It's going to be the wire from our outlet coming up to power the light. This just snaps in like this. And we'll just get this in a good spot so that it's nice and Screw it on the wall nice and neat here. So I'll put it right here. So when I put the uh, wire uh, MC cable clamps on, it'll look nice and neat. Boy, it's nice to bite into something here. So many jobs you just have a sheet rock to screw into. So that's when you have to start using wall anchors. Okay, here's our shorter piece of uh, MC cable. This is a 14-2 MC cable, and this will go over to our switch. It's pre-assembled, and it just snaps into the box like this. This will go up here like this, and open down right where we want the switch. So we'll just tuck it up here so it's out of the way to put the light up. So we'll be taking our black feed wire and we'll be connecting it to our white switch wire so the black is live when it comes back up to the uh, we just strip those perfectly even there I'm not going to twist these two because there's only two wires so what I'll do is I'll just get them even like this put my wire knot on Okay, now that's the black feed wire going to the white switch wire, so that way our black coming back from the switch is live at the light, and we have our white. So we're going to strip these wires hook up to our light fixture, and we have our grounds here. So we'll use a red for them because we have a three. So we'll just get them all 
lined up even here like this. Make sure they're perfectly even. All perfectly even like that. Uh, start spinning my nut on. Okay, we can fold this back into our box like this. So now we can get our uh, uh, wall lantern out. It's a very nice decorative wall lantern. And we will uh, put that on our box here. Okay, so let's hope it has some screws, because if it doesn't, we have to go to the store and buy some more. Okay, we have our three orange wire nuts, which we need. Okay, and the nuts are on here, so we will take these nuts off, or screws off here. Tight, tight, get it this position so that it's where we want it, like this. Get this screw tight here. This one tight here. Gotta get our ground wire around the green screw over here. Bring it around, close our loop. Okay, so we can uh, here in the country I was born in, the black is always your live wire in this situation here. As I said, white can be live like here where the black feed wire is going to the white switch wire, but at the light, the black is supposed to be your live. So hook these up. Okay, so I'll wrap the ground wire around here, get the end even here, put my orange wire cap on. Okay, now I'll strip these wires a little longer so I get a nice wrap around the uh, solid wires. I won't be twisting these strands together. I'm going to wrap them around the solid so I get a nice solid wrap here. So I go like that. Wrap my strands around the solid wire. Make sure my wires are going up into the cap. And I'll do the same with my white wire here. Get the strands on like that, wrap the strand wire around the solid, so get a nice connection like that. 
put my cap on. I'll make sure the insulation is going up into the bottom of the wire nut there. Okay, now we can put our light on the box here. Okay, so we will fold our wires up into the box here. I'm going to just take my pliers and just make sure these wire nuts are tight. I'm not going to squeeze on that wire nut. I'm just going to turn it because my hands are a little sweaty. Okay, they're tight. Okay, now we can fold our wires up into the box. Uh, carefully so you don't pinch or scrape the wire on the uh, metal there. There we go. There's our black. And our light. Let's get our ground wire up in here out of the way. Okay, and our light will just sit on the box like this. And I'll make sure the wires are going to be pinched, so I'll push them up underneath here. on here. I'll have to put an 832 nut going back to the back of the fixture. I'll do that later in case my camera runs out. Okay, now we'll do our switch box. Just snap in like this. Okay, so we will have this clamped up here, this will be here, so our switch is going to be right here. Hold the box steady. Yeah, just make sure it snaps that in out of the way. So I'll put a, I'll just get one clamp up here to start. camera runs out the camera runs out so there'll be plenty more of these clamps put up if the camera runs out Okay, now we can hook our switch up. I'll get another screw in the box back here. Okay, green is our ground, now we'll go on our green screw, we'll put our black and white on the switch.
Now when I screw the switch into the box, it will ground the box. Make sure I replace our loop the direction that the screw turns. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now we'll do our black and our white. Make sure it's nice and tight. We have a good connection here. Close our loop. Okay, there we got our connection here. Now I make sure the wire, the screws aren't too long to hit that. I'm going to put a shorter screw in the top so I don't hit the back of that connector. I bought some short 832 screws, so we'll fold our wires into the box for our light switch. Now our longer screw can be on the bottom here. Shorten this screw here so I don't hit the back of the connector. Alrighty, our screws aren't hitting anything and we are good to go. Now we'll start putting the uh, clamps on here. two nuts here so we'll put our 832 nuts on here. Fasten it down. Now we can grab a, some clamps. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna spread these out because in case the camera runs out, I'll, I'll do the last off camera. So I'll fold this out into the box here. 
Make sure the wires aren't going to get pinched on anything. Since we have a very short connect, uh, place here to, for our screw, uh, put a short screw here so I don't damage hit the connector and damage it. some clamps on here. Gotta get one within six inches of the box to meet code, so we're starting right here. It's nice to have a nice solid wood to screw into. Let's come back a little further, we'll get another one here. My connectors, it's not helping me not finding them, so there's right here. Our little cosmetic piece to put up on our light. Here we'll put our little cosmetic piece up here on our light. 